What if an electric vehicle could drive for a million miles without ever needing a battery replacement? That's not just some futuristic fantasy, it's exactly what Elon Musk hinted at when he said, the cars being built right now are all made for a million miles of driving. The drive units are created, tested and confirmed to last for a million miles. The new battery pack, which will likely go into production next year, is also designed specifically to reach a million miles of use. The whole vehicle battery pack together is made to last a million miles with very little maintenance. Now, new leaks suggest Tesla is preparing to launch the $10,799 Model 2 with a next-gen 4680 Gen 2 battery. Cranes and construction teams have been spotted moving around at Gidi Nirvana and Tesla's Megalup Site 2 major locations, getting ready for large-scale battery production. This is about more than just driving range or price. It's about completely rethinking how long a battery should last, the structure of electric vehicles, and what EV ownership will mean in the future. But how does all this actually work? Could this really mean we're finally stepping away from old lithium-ion technology? Stick around, because we're about to break it all down. But hold up before we jump deeper, do me one small favour. I know you're here for real content, and we're just getting started. But, believe it or not, we've got just 24 subscribers right now. Yes, 24. If you're even slightly intrigued by the future of cars and clean energy, hit that subscribe button to join Amp Drive today. It takes one second, costs nothing, and helps us a whole lot. And hey, tap that bell so you'll always know when something massive drops next. So, is this million mile battery just hype, or is it backed by science? Is Elon stretching the truth again, or has Tesla truly solved the puzzle of battery longevity? Everyone's wondering, but this time, it might actually be real. Tesla has worked closely with battery researcher Dr. Jeff Don and his team. Their lab tests are seriously impressive. Their LFP lithium ion phosphate and nickel based cells have gone through over 13,000 full charge cycles. One full cycle means charging from 0 to 100%. Multiply that by an average of 180 miles driven daily, and you're looking at more than 2.3 million miles or about 3.7 million kilometers of possible battery life. This isn't just hopeful talk, it's backed by real world science. Even better, when these batteries are charged between 20% and 80%, which is the ideal range they retain over 93% of their capacity after a full decade of use. That means 10 years of everyday driving, and you're still getting nearly the same range you had on day one. That kind of long-term durability is extremely rare in the EV industry, and it's not only a win for individual car owners, it's a massive breakthrough for high-mileage use cases like Tesla's coming robo-taxi fleet. These self-driving cars could run almost non-stop padding up to 100,000 miles or more per year. With batteries this strong, those robo-taxis could stay on the road for 10, 15, or even 20 years with no battery swap needed. That's a game changer for logistics companies and ride hailing services who depend on heavy duty, reliable vehicles. Now think about the Tesla Model 2. It might be Tesla's first car designed with two key roles in mind. You can drive it as your personal everyday ride, but when you're not using it, you can connect it to Tesla's network and let it run autonomously, making you money as a self-driving ride service. It's not just a car anymore. It's a smart machine that pays you back. Imagine paying just $10,799 for a Model 2. You drive it whenever you need, and when you don't, it earns income for you. There's no gas, very little maintenance, and a battery that keeps going for over a million miles. Over time, this car might not just break even, it could actually make you profit. So this isn't just a better battery. It's a completely different way to think about owning a car one that's smarter, more cost-effective, and built for the long haul. Can Tesla really pull off the whole package with the $10,799 Model 2 battery, software, manufacturing, and all without needing help from anyone else? Drop a comment if you think Tesla's already way ahead of the pack. Now let's look at how this 4680 Gen 2 battery breaks the old rules of engineering. On paper, it may not seem like a giant leap. The first gen 4680 cell measured 46mm across and 80mm tall. The second gen boosts that height to 90 millimeter. It might not sound like a big deal, but it adds roughly 18% to 20% more volume inside each cell. That gives each one about 15 to 20% more energy, depending on the chemistry used. Take the original Gen 1 4680 cell at stores, about 26 amp hours of charge. 
The new Gen 2 cell can hold up to 30 to 32 amp hours. That extra capacity means Tesla can increase driving range without making the battery pack physically larger. And that's important for keeping the Model 2 compact and light while still offering a real world range of 250 to 300 miles. There's another major benefit to this size upgrade. Fewer cells are needed to reach the same energy output. For example, the Tesla Model Y uses around 900 to 960 Gen 1 cells. With Gen 2, Tesla could cut that number by 15% to 25%, simplifying the entire structure. Fewer cells mean fewer welding spots, fewer connectors, and fewer chances for anything to go wrong. This speeds up production and makes everything more cost-effective. It also improves maintenance and allows for easier assembly in the factory. But this isn't only about size. One of the big issues with the Gen 1 battery was how it handled heat. Fast charging and aggressive driving create heat at the electrodes and in the current paths. The taller design of the Gen 2 battery provides more surface area, helping it cool down faster. Combine this with upgraded cooling plates and improved heat transfer materials, and Tesla now has a battery pack that stays cooler across the board. That means fewer hotspots, reduced fire risk, and longer battery life even when the car is charging rapidly or pulling heavy loads. Don't forget the tableless design either. Older cylindrical batteries had metal tabs that caused resistance and heating. Tesla's table structure is different to it uses a spiral layout that lets current move across the full edge of the electrode. This cuts down electrical resistance by nearly half. It also supports super fast charging beyond 250 kW and delivers energy more evenly across the battery. That's important for performance, lifespan and safety especially for self-driving vehicles and long distance EVs. Now let's talk chemistry. Tesla's high-end cars use pricey nickel manganese cobalt batteries, but the Model 2 will use lithium iron phosphatel FP which costs about 30 to 40% less to make. Why? Because it doesn't need expensive metals like nickel, which can cost $18,000 a tonne, or cobalt, which goes for $35,000 per tonne. On top of that, most of the world's cobalt is mined in Congo under rough working conditions, raising big concerns about human rights and... This audio was created with Podcastle.ai. Rough working conditions, raising big concerns about human rights and sustainability. LFP is safer too. It can handle higher heat up to 270 degrees C before thermal runaway compared to 210 degrees C in nickel batteries. That means simpler cooling systems, lower production complexity, and better safety, especially in hotter areas or during rapid charging. Yes, LFP has lower energy density, around 160 WH slash KG, compared to over 200 WH slash KG in nickel-based ones. But with the new tool of 4680 cell, Tesla can still get the energy it needs while keeping costs down and safety up. Tesla is also using dry electrode tech from Maxwell Technologies. This process skips the toxic solvents, reducing energy use during manufacturing by as much as 40%. It also allows for thicker, more efficient electrodes. This boosts energy density and narrows the gap between LFP and nickel batteries without giving up on cost or safety. So when you put LFP, 4680 Gen 2 and dry electrode tech together, you get a battery that's safe, affordable, and ready for mass production. That makes an ideal for the Model 2 and Tesla's broader vision of accessible, scalable electric vehicles. But let's be real. Why was Gen 2 necessary in the first place? Traditional lithium ion batteries were groundbreaking years ago, but they've reached their limit. Most EVs using older lithium ion tech only last 300,000 to 500,000 miles before needing a battery replacement. That sounds like a lot, but for daily drivers and commercial use, performance loss shows up fast. In fact, some EVs start losing noticeable range within just two to three years, depending on usage and climate. Weather plays a big role too. Hot or freezing conditions wear out batteries faster. Over time, this means more frequent charging, shrinking range, and eventually costly battery swaps. And then there's the issue of price. Between 2021 and 2022, Lithium prices jumped over 400%, reaching more than $80,000 per metric tonne. These wild price swings hit EV makers hard causing delays, shortages, and rising prices. Mining and refining these materials also causes serious environmental damage. 
Digging up lithium, cobalt and nickel uses massive amounts of energy and water. Plus, the waste is often toxic. Most cobalt comes from Congo, where mining conditions are dangerous and workers often lack basic safety. So, the old lithium mine system is expensive, unstable and environmentally risky. Tesla knew it had to move forward not just make better batteries, but build smarter ones that are safer, cheaper and more reliable. That's why Generation 2 was a must, and Tesla didn't stop at designing a better battery. They're building a production empire. The heart of this is Giga, Texas currently the only factory in the world making 4,680 Gen 2 batteries using dry electrode methods. It cuts energy use, speeds up production, and links battery creation directly to car assembly on the same site. By 2026, Bigger Texas is expected to produce more than 100 gigawatt hours of batteries each year, enough to power around one, five to two million Model 2 cars annually. And since it's in the US, Tesla avoids the headaches of overseas shipping and unstable global supply lines. They're also building Giga Mexico announced by Elon Musk in 2023. Set to start running in 2026, it's focused entirely on affordable EVs and built to support massive Gen 2 battery production. Lower labor costs and strategic logistics make it the perfect launch pad for Tesla's robo-taxi goals. So what do we really have here? A $10,799 car. A million mile battery. A future where owning a vehicle doesn't just save you fuel, it could remove all your long-term car costs. You could drive it, rent it out as a robo-taxi, or sell it years later with the same original battery still working. So ask yourself this what happens when the car's most expensive and fragile part becomes the most valuable and durable one instead. Will you be early to adapt, or will you wait until the revolution has already passed you by? Amp Drive is watching. Are you?